The Ideal Scope is a diamond cut quality assessment tool. Its translucent cone and magnifying lens create a structured light environment which, when placed over a diamond, shows brightness, leakage, and contrast. Depending on how it was cut, light entering a diamond will either reflect and come up to the viewer's eyes as brightness or escape through the bottom as leakage or windowing, causing dark areas. When placed over a diamond, light passing through the ideal scope's cone turns red. Light that reflects inside the diamond and travels up is brightness. A viewer looking through the lens will see bright areas as red. So in ideal scope cut quality assessment, brightness is red. Alternately, if light escapes through the bottom of the stone, that's leakage. It means the facets are acting as windows instead of mirrors. A viewer looking through the lens sees through the bottom of the diamond. Professional ideal scope setups use a lighted panel under the diamond to expose obvious leakage. So in ideal scope cut quality assessment, a viewer will see leakage as white or light pink. That brings us to contrast. Some light from above will always be blocked by the viewer, creating a dark pattern. You can see the contrast effect in diamond photos because the camera blocks light the same way a viewer does. The on and off contrast effect when diamonds move is a dramatic component of scintillation. In ideal scope cut quality assessment, the contrast pattern is black. Now let's see ideal scope in action. Check out these stones. Under jewelry store spotlights, they both seem big and bright. We have an 80 pointer on the left and a one carat stone on the right. If both cost the same amount, you might be tempted to buy the one carat stone. Before you do, let's see them in ideal scope. Red is brightness. The stone on the left shows red from edge to edge and all across the center. The red is constant and unbroken by white leakage or windowing. The black contrast pattern is balanced and symmetrical. This is a well-cut stone that will be at its brightest in all lighting conditions. Now let's see the one carat stone. We can see it's lacking red brightness in many areas. You can see white windowing or leakage around the edges of the stone and under the center. The black contrast pattern is unbalanced and pools in the center. This is not a well-cut stone. In a jewelry store, under bright spotlights, they both seem big and bright. But now let's see them in normal lighting. Here the deficits you can clearly see in ideal scope become apparent. The one carat stone loses brightness at the edges and now it appears visually smaller than the 80 pointer even though it's physically larger. Here's why this matters to diamond shoppers. Nearly 70% of all round diamonds receive a top cut grade of excellent, but 80% of excellent diamonds have performance deficits that can be seen in ideal scope. In closing, we'll show you photos of five examples. These will come one to five from best to worst. It should be useful to know the first four you will see all qualify for the excellent cut grade. With ideal scope analysis, you can easily tell which are reliably bright and dynamic and which suffer from leakage and brightness reduction. Your jeweler can purchase one at idealscope.com or generate an ideal scope image with a 3D scan using DimeCalc software.